Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Lauren. I'm Matt. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Tracy. I'm Joel. I'm Petey. I'm Grandpa. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Currently, we are in the farm market, and we just finished setting everything up. We are dealing with some colder than normal weather today. Well, colder than usual is what I really should say. We had our first cold, cold night, and uh, yeah, we're feeling it this morning. And even though we have a beautiful day outside, we are forecast to get one to three inches of snow tonight. So that'll be interesting. Now we've already been able to get some things accomplished this morning, as you've seen, we got the farm market set up. But we also needed some potatoes, which dad was bagging up and we just got them put into place. We were having a few concerns about getting produce in because we're not gonna be able to harvest forever. Uh, but we just went through and picked off all our cauliflower yesterday because a case of cauliflower was $90. So we went through and picked all our cauliflower yesterday and since the temperatures are dropping so low, we're concerned about our cabbage that is out in the field. Now we're not hurting for cabbage. As you can see, we have plenty here in the cooler, but we don't wanna lose any. We don't want it to go to waste. So we're probably gonna be harvesting cabbage this afternoon. Now we try and keep things very positive here. That's just the way our family is. But the truth is if we don't get that cabbage harvested, we're gonna lose it and it will go to waste. So we're gonna try and get as much as we can. As Andrew just brought out, things are a bit crazy right now. Actually, not a bit crazy. Things are very, very crazy. Head lettuce, romaine lettuce, $100 a case. Summertime, we can get it for 25 bucks. So that's up four times. Cauliflower. Uh, we just picked the last of our cauliflower yesterday, so we officially are out of cauliflower in the field. It was a very good harvest for us, but really hurts when you look at the price of cauliflower, and it's at seven bucks a head for wholesale cauliflower. That probably means we won't be carrying any cauliflower once we run out of ours. Oh no, someone spilled over their shopping cart. That's how you know it's cold outside. The cafeteria is all closed up. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing this morning? Only thing is there's a difference this year. We have the cafeteria and we have greenhouse number six, which we have one, two, three, four, five calves in here right now. Morning, morning. Look at this. Someone was breaking out, so we had to put them in jail. I'll let that warm up for a little bit before we get our silage. Just got the chickens fed. We do need to grade some eggs before we can collect the eggs that are in there. Uh, but before I do that, uh, we need to get some silage for the cattle. I just saw dad going up the hill over there. That must mean John Deere is here. The other day the combine wasn't working right so we had to call John Deere. So now that they're here, dad's gonna go with them to take a look at the combine, see if we can figure out what the issue was. Usually as we're working, we'll just leave that door open. Uh, so it's easier on us. We don't have to get out of the skid steer loader to put it away. However, because it's so cold, uh, we want to close that up. One, we don't want it to get cold up in the farm market. That's just going to cost more money to heat it then. And two, we've got that storage area full of potatoes and we don't want it to get too cold and ruin our potatoes. So I just like to close the door when I'm done.
I don't know if it's that cold or I'm just not used to it, but my cheeks are feeling it this morning. Got me a little backed up here. Are you happy now, princess? <laughs> While I was outside, Daniel was in here and he started grating eggs. Uh, we had four baskets full, which means that we had no baskets available for putting eggs into. So we're just gonna get all these eggs sorted and put into boxes. Then we'll have some fresh baskets to use. Daniel and I just got done grating eggs. We got this full box, and then we got that box over there, which is almost full. Daniel and I just got the eggs collected. I'll tell you what, there is nothing that compares to when you have really cold hands and you just put them under a warm chicken. I'm living the life. Got chicken hand warmers. Now that we are done with the animals though, we have a very large order for bags of potatoes. So we need to get potatoes washed because we're out. Now we're gonna have to put two bins into the hopper so that we can get them washed. And then this afternoon, hopefully we'll be able to bag them. Some gorgeous looking taters. this stuff we already sorted through it all uh, we just like to go through it another time when we're washing just to make sure we didn't miss any bruises or any bad cuts you don't usually find too much after you graded it the first time but there are times where things will slip through like that so that's what we're looking for <laughs> potatoes here you go Oh yeah, everyone loves the potatoes. Check it out. I need help getting the canvas. You wanna come back with the regular truck and help me get the canvas off the combine? Yep. The combine is now fixed, so we're gonna go get the tarp pulled off of it and get ready for harvesting. Daniel is going to clean out his grain drill. He is all done with planting. So we've got to get the combine taken care of. Daniel's going to take care of that. Uh, and we'll see where we go from there. Oh yeah, right where we left her. There was some water sitting on top of the tarp that we had covering up the corn. And there was about an inch thick piece of ice on it. I was cold, I had to break it up. My hands are freezing. So we had two issues with the harvester that they found. One uh, was a solenoid, which is why it wouldn't start. We knew it was the solenoid. Uh, the second issue is one of the fuel pumps is going bad. Now they said, no problem running it, should work fine, we'll order you a new one. It's just gonna have a little trouble starting in the morning. So it did have trouble starting, but now it's running good. about the combine breaking down, I'll use the word interesting because I wouldn't use the word funny, uh, is we only had about an acre and a half left at the home farm and we would have been done at the home farm. So that was a little frustrating not being able to finish the other day, but remember we do have that snowstorm coming. Uh, I don't know how big it's gonna be, but we're not gonna risk losing any of this corn at the home farm. So that's why we're finishing up harvest here. We do have a few other jobs planned for today, but it's not that big of a deal to get this corn harvested now. Since we only have an acre and a half, two acres here at the home farm, we're gonna get it done and taken care of, then we'll be finished with it. What's wrong, Petey? You look a little cold. 
Got the tarp all folded up. Dad has already left and now Matthew is leaving with his truck. So the only thing left for me to do is get in my vehicle and head back as well. Just got home from the field. It is just about lunchtime. What are we having for lunch today, Grammy? Meatball hoagies and salad. Ooh, meatball hoagies and salad. That looks good. And look at all these nut breads over here she's made today. Grammy's a busy woman. We just got the bin on the combine closed up, but now we're looking for knives and gathering some other stuff around because we got to Cut cabbage. <laughs> this is the cabbage that we're gonna be harvesting. You can see the leaves are getting kind of crunchy on some of them. And that is from the very, very cold weather that we've had. So we wanna get this stuff cut. <laughs> you can see the ice on them. Mm -hmm. Now because some of these cabbages are frozen, that makes them much heavier because there's a lot of water in cabbage. And makes them more difficult to cut. And as I mentioned, they're just heavy and it's hard. You gotta be careful. It's like a rock. You don't wanna hit Joel in the face with this. Catch Here's some ice on the cabbage. Now there's always a few dangers when you're working with a knife, especially when you're picking cabbage. But when it's cold like this, your fingers can go numb. So you really need to be careful. Oh, yeah. And these things are rock hard. You don't want to hit one of the boys with one. So we got to be careful while we're cutting and be careful while we're throwing. It is a little harder to get through them. So you just want to make sure you take that extra care so that you don't hurt yourself or someone else. Oh yeah. Sorry. That was like a curve ball. Boy. It's almost like when they throw it to you, you're catching chunks of ice. Now some of you may be wondering if this will affect how the cabbage stores. Uh, you can see we have ice down to right about here. This shouldn't affect the storage of the cabbage. The ice goes about two inches into the cabbage, but this should thaw out and be fine. The cabbage looks really, really good though. That is a cold snack, but that tastes really good. Oh, it's cold. How's the cabbage ice pop, Petey? Well, that was exciting. We just got all of our cabbage harvested. And that stuff looks pretty good. And I must say, I'm pretty happy with the way the cabbage harvest has gone throughout the season. I don't ever remember harvesting this much cabbage. We had a great cabbage year, great broccoli year, and the best cauliflower year I can remember for a long, long time. We gotta do this again next year. The bad weather is starting to arrive. It is now sleeting and the temperature is dropping. Dad and I just took a little break from what we were doing to cut up some horseradish. 
A few customers have been asking for us to grind horseradish. So we just got everything cubed up. Now all we have to do is wash it and then grind it and we'll be ready to sell. Oh my, I don't know if you can see it, but it's snowing, the first snow of the year. Check it out. I mean, it almost feels too early for the first snow of the year, but I guess it is middle to late November already. Now it is technically off season, but I feel like we have jumped from job to job today. We've had a really busy day on our hands. I think it's just because we're preparing for that storm. But if you remember this morning, we washed all those potatoes. We do need to bag some up. Daniel and I bagged up two 50 pound bags of potatoes earlier on, but we're gonna need 18 more to fill an order. Just load all the potatoes into a potato bag. Easy like that. whining and complaining. Daniel, put the door on the skid steer. Check that out. And there we have it. We got our pallet full of potatoes. What's funny is all the pastured cattle aren't even home. They're out playing in the snow. I can see them, they're all the way over on the hill. Well, that makes me happy. I'm glad they're out enjoying themselves. Before we take the potatoes up, we decided it would be best if all three of us bed up the cattle together and also got a hay bale. There you go, everyone. A nice new round bale for you to enjoy. Just got the cattle all fed. I went around and checked every water bowl. Uh, all the animals have fresh water. The pastured cattle came home. I guess they got tired of being in the snow. But that should about do for today. Woo. We just got everything put away inside the farm market. So now we are on our way up to the house. What do you think of all the snow? <laughs> yeah, so trippy. Yeah. Look at all this. Like wow. Look at the snow. We've made it up to the house. Grammy, what are we having for dinner tonight? We are having Swiss steak. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that sounds good to me. Daniel! No! Now we are all out in the kitchen, so you guys know what that means. This is where we're going to end the video today. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.